Hi, I'm Betty. Welcome to my kitchen. I was in the supermarket a couple of weeks ago and going down one of the aisles saw a box of taco shells. Now I couldn't tell you the last time I made tacos, but I saw that box of shells and all of a sudden all I wanted for dinner that night was tacos. So I bought the shells and I knew I had most of the seasoning ingredients at home, which was really important because the last thing I wanted was beef flavored with that packet that you can get that contains things that you can't spell. And you really don't want to be eating anything you can't spell. So like most of you, I went to the internet to find a recipe. And I read about a dozen and settled on one that was from the Food Network. The only problem with the recipe was it was way too spicy, it was way too salty, and it was way too greasy. So I worked on it a little bit, and this is what I've come up with. Here are the ingredients that we're going to put together for the spice mix. And I have here two tablespoons of chili powder, a tablespoon of ground cumin, two teaspoons of cornstarch, one and a half teaspoons of sweet paprika, a teaspoon of ground coriander, and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You'll notice I don't have any salt in this because I'm going to be adding some beef broth to the mixture. And even though I'm using a low sodium beef broth, I find that it's salty enough for me. Of course, if you prefer a little more, feel free to add it. And if you prefer it spicier, by all means use hot paprika in place of the sweet. This is just a starter and you can adjust it any way you like. So first, I'm going to mix all my spice ingredients. Just dump them into a little bigger bowl. And I'm going to give them a stir with a little whisk to make sure they're well mixed. Now if you try this and you find it's a dish you enjoy, what you might want to do is mix up a batch of the ingredients and keep it in a jar. It's a big time saver at dinner time. <laughs> so in addition to my spice mixture, I have here Actually, I'm using a pound and a half of ground beef because we're going to have some friends in tonight to enjoy these tacos with us. I've got two thirds of a cup of beef broth. I've got about three garlic cloves that I've grated and I have an onion, uh, a decent sized onion, chopped. And in my pan, which I've been warming, I've got uh, about a tablespoon or so of olive oil. You can use vegetable oil. My standard cooking oil is olive oil. Okay, my onions have been cooking for about three minutes. They're soft and you can see there are just a few little flecks of brown there, which is exactly what I want. I'm ready to add the meat. We're going to cook this with the garlic. You don't add the garlic ahead of time because garlic burns so easily. This way it, it will just cook with the meat and flavor it. I'm going to let this cook, stirring it once in a while until the meat has browned. And that'll take about five minutes or so. All right, my meat is all browned. But as you can see, there's a lot of liquid left, which contains a fair amount of fat, which I really don't want. So what I'm gonna do is take this over to the sink and I'm going to place it in a strainer and get rid of this extraneous stuff that we just don't need. The strainer I'm using is one that was sent to me very recently by a company asking for my opinion on it. The company is called Magikuchen, which I assume means Magic Kitchen. And it's a lovely, sturdy strainer. I especially like this lip, which is straight, which means it can fit uh, over any bowl um, just perfectly. So here we go. Just going to 
get all of that excess liquid and fat off there. All right, so I'm going to add my spice mixture. I'm just going to sprinkle that over and pour in my beef broth. And I'm going to turn up the heat a little at this point and just mix this all in. You'll notice this recipe doesn't contain the usual tomato, which I really like. Using just the beef broth ups the flavor of the beef. And you're probably going to add some chopped tomato when you put your tacos together. And I think that's quite enough tomato. We're going to let this come to a simmer and let it cook for about three minutes. The cornstarch that we included in the spice mixture is going to thicken the sauce up a little. And of course, the paprika and the other spices are going to turn it a really lovely color. So this has cooked for about three minutes and you can see that the sauce has thickened to a nice consistency. A little bit of moisture, but not enough to make a messy taco. So all we have to do now is prepare our toppings, heat the tacos, and we're ready for a fun dinner. So all you need to complete your tacos are the toppings of your choice. I'm choosing some chopped tomatoes, some shredded cheese. I'm using cheddar. You can use pepper jack or any other cheese of your choice. I've got some chopped avocado and some shredded lettuce. It's going to be a delicious taco dinner. <laughs>